Hi there, the best followers in the world. Club Football is finally back, which means there will be a great amount of events and topics to discuss. Give a like to this video so you won't miss the most relevant football news. Without further ado, let's get the show on the pitch. Real Madrid forward Rodrigo returned from Brazil with minor knee problems. His participation in the tie against Cadiz is in doubt. Erling Haaland fully covered the expenses of the fans of his hometown club Brun during their away game of the quarterfinals of the playoff for promotion to the Norwegian Premier League against Start. Brun have not played in the elite since 2006. Manchester United right back Aaron Wan Bissaka has again received an offer to perform for Democratic Republic of the Congo national team. The footballer has not yet made a final decision. John Terry has found a new job. The Chelsea legend will soon be appointed as the new technical director of the Saudi Pro League outfit Al Shabab. PSG captain Marquinhos got injured while on international duty for Brazil. He missed the match against AS Monaco and will definitely miss the Champions League clash against Newcastle. Experienced striker Joselu is set to be a huge piece of Real Madrid's plans for next season. Both parties are sure that the club will make his contract permanent in the summer of 2024. Manchester City have no buyback loss for Cole Palmer's deal, despite his relatively low transfer price of £42.5 million. Chelsea were surprised the citizens did not add the set clause. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta has made it clear that he hopes defender Takehiro Tomiyasu will remain at the Emirates Stadium despite interest from Bayern Munich. Usman Dembele finally slotted his first goal for PSG. He managed to succeed during the game against AS Monaco. Nice right back Youssef Atal is in custody. He is accused of promoting anti-Semitism. He was previously suspended from the first team for sharing a social media post in support of Palestine. Former Inter, AC Milan and Man City forward Mario Balotelli was involved in a car crash. The player is fine, but he refused to take a breathalyzer test. Tottenham Hotspur have ruled out a January departure for Giovanni Lo Celso, despite interest from Barca, Atletico Madrid and Real Betis. After James Madison's injury, he will get more playing minutes. Bayern Munich are counting on their niggle keeper Daniel Peretz, but will be forced to send him on loan so the Israel international can gain more experience. Argentina's U-17 squad defeated Brazil in the World Cup quarterfinals with 3-0 as a final result. In another game, Germany toppled Spain 1-0. Despite interest from Arsenal, Chelsea and Tottenham, Ivan Toni is likely to stay at Brentford until the end of the season. No club is ready to pay 100 million euros for him. Manchester City legend Fernandinho, who plays for Atletico Paranaense, has reported the disappearance of his grandfather Benedito Machado, who is grappling with Alzheimer's. Harry Kane's contract with Bayern Munich does include a buyback loss for Tottenham, though Spurs cannot use it in the next two seasons. Former Chelsea and Brighton head coach Graham Potter has rejected the chance to take the vacant post of the new Sweden manager. Rafael Varane and his exit? I don't know what you're talking about. Rumors. He's a very important player, but there is an internal competition. Eric Ten Hag shared. Man City are edging closer to secure the services of versatile Chelsea winger Jan Matsen. The Dutchman is waiting for a transfer to happen. Real Madrid players are desperate for head coach Carlo Ancelotti to renew his contract with the Spanish Giants, given the rumors of him taking charge of Brazil next summer. Jude Bellingham will soon pen a multi-million dollar endorsement deal with Louis Vuitton. He will become the new face of the brand. Representatives of the Saudi Pro League are willing to pay Manchester United 20 million euros for attacking midfielder Christian Eriksen. Mason Mount picked up an injury again during fitness tests. He could miss three to four weeks of action. Torino head coach Ivan Juric will not renew his contract with the club. Thus, the manager is expected to leave the Maroons in the summer. He will most likely be replaced by Gennaro Gattuso, whose agreement with Olympic Marseille is also set to expire in the summer. Harry Kane is the first Englishman in history to score 18 goals in a single Bundesliga season. Mind that December hasn't even started yet. Kevin Keegan and Jadon Sancho scored 17 goals each. Newcastle United are weighing up a swoop for this season's second Bundesliga score, Seru Gerasi from Stuttgart. In the winter, his release class will be worth 17.5 million euros. Juventus to make a move for Kefren Turam? It is really too early to talk about this. I don't know how things will go. He is an important player for Nice. Usually, there is no big moves happening in January. Agent Rafael Pimenta noted. We are quite thing at the back. There is also the Asian Cup and the Africa Cup. There is a lot to do in the next few weeks for us. Bayern Munich director Freund noted. Manchester United and Real Madrid are keen on signing Bayer Leverkusen right back Jeremy Frimpong. He scored five goals and delivered seven assists in 16 appearances this season. 
Morato from Benfica, has been recently added to the transfer shortlist of Tottenham Hotspur, who are actively looking for a new player for the centre-back position. Return to Juventus? Marriages are always done in two. You can always dream and hope to get married again, Antonio Conte said. 20-year-old PSV's best assistant, Johan Bakayoko, has attracted real interest from Tottenham Hotspur, according to Sky Sports. Friends, if for some reason you are still watching us without a subscription, then it's time to fix it right now. Thank you. Yesterday, we had a few elite club football fixtures to choose from. Here are the latest results of the week. Bayern Munich continue to destroy everyone in their path. However, this time, only one goal from Hurricane in the 20th minute of the game was enough for Diraten to seal their three points. If it weren't for Donnarumma's terrible blunder, PSG would have had a perfect performance altogether. Interestingly enough, five different players scored a goal for the Parisians. Gonzalo Ramos, Kylian Mbappe, Vitinha, Usman Dembele, and Randall Kalamuani. Luis Enrique's side have cemented their lead at the top of the Liga 1 table. Let's move on to the main news of the release. Recently, Joao Felix stopped impressing as much as he did at the start of the season, so Barcelona changed their mind about a full transfer in the summer. From now on, buying out Felix's contract is not a priority for the Cutland Giants. If he does return to Barcelona in June, it'll either be another new loan deal or a permanent move worth between 20 and 30 million euros. Though Atletico would want to earn significantly more for his services. After 14 games this season for Barca, Felix has 3 goals and 3 assists. He has not scored in 10 consecutive games. Real Madrid's passivity in the transfer market in the summer and winter could be explained by the fact that the club plans to hold a truly remarkable 2024 transfer summer window. Los Blancos are reportedly saving money for recruiting both super footballers, Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland. Mbappe is likely to become a free agent soon, while the Norwegian has a 200 million euros release clause included in his contract. Here's how his agent, Rafaela Pimenta, commented on rumors regarding Holland. Real Madrid links? He should ask Real Madrid, not me. He deserved to win the Ballon d'Or. I hope he's gonna win it one day, but I'm sure he prefers the Champions League title with his team. Yesterday, Cristiano Ronaldo brought Al Nasser a 3-0 victory over Al Ardut. The legendary Portuguese succeeded at begging a brace. Those goals were special for Ronaldo, as he managed to surpass the feat of Czech goal scorer Joseph Beacon for the most first division goal scored in football history. Ronaldo already has 527 accurate shots, while Beacon has netted 526. Wow! The Brazil-Argentina clash has long been over, but the tension surrounding it has not subsided in a bit. This time, the father of Real Madrid forward, Rodrigo, has decided to spare no quarters in letting his feelings towards the Argentine skipper. On his Instagram page, he posted a photo of Messi's argument with Rodrigo, as well as a photo in which La Pulga is grabbing Uruguay defender Matias Oliveira by the neck. Here's the message he had written in his story. The saint who doesn't get in trouble with anyone. Obviously, this way he wanted to take a shot at the Inter Miami star. Lionel Messi's wife, Antonella Rocuzzo, has revealed that her family was subjected to a terrifying robbery in Argentina. Rocuzzo's cousin, Agustina Scalia, was robbed by gunmen in Rosario as she traveled from her family supermarket to deposit cash at a local bank, according to Marca. The attackers made off with 18,000 pounds in Argentine pesos. The thieves also fired at least one gunshot and broke one of the windows in the car during the attack. Rokuzo has shared some pictures from her family of the incident on social media. Conscious of the times we live in, where every day there are so many injustices. I'm grateful that it was just one more scare. Thank you for so much love these days. Read the caption alongside the images by Mauricio Scalia. Rokuzo replied with her own message. I love you very much, brothers. Folks, as usual, we would like to offer you more content from our other channels because there is always something to check out. Choose any video to your liking. Well, the Football News Channel was with you. Take care, and we wish you all the best. Bye-bye.